Hello, it's uh, Chris here from Huckleman's Equipment. We're going to talk today uh, about a customer-owned L2501 that we have here in the yard. It's uh, It's got some monster truck tires on it. These are generally the turf tires you're going to see on an L3560 or an L4060. Uh, makes it about six inches wider uh, than what you're going to get on the standard turf tire uh, on an L01 series. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about the tires and then we're going to talk about the tractor, give a little bit of an overview of that because we got uh, a few other options on this unit. Okay, so on the uh, L2501, we got the LA525. You know, it's going to lift about 1,200 pounds. Um, this unit in particular, because it's got the oversized tires on it, you can dial up the pressures um, and get a, I know, get a lot more lift out of it. Uh, the thing to know about all that is it's going to avoid your warranty. Um, so if it's a brand new tractor, I don't recommend doing it. Um, if you're out of warranty um, and you want, uh, you want to get that, that extra lift uh, out of it with, uh, with these tires, uh, feel free to do it. So yeah, so this, uh, this tractor also has the third function on it, uh, the Land Pride third function. Uh, you know, it's gonna let, the, it let it have a grapple in this case. Uh, we pair it up with the SGC 0660 from Land Pride. Uh, so it gives you a 60 inch front, front grapple uh, to grab your brush and stumps and stuff like that. You also, also this uh, loader comes standard with a 66 inch front bucket. Uh, again, with this size of tire, uh, you could go up to a 72 because you have the lift capacities now. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what's available for the, for the loader and the front uh, bucket attachments. Uh, now we'll move on to talking a little bit about the tractor and then the tires. So the 2501 is your uh, 25 horsepower tractor, uh, Kubota engine in it, uh, three range hydrostatic transmission. Uh, you know, you don't have your tilt steering. Uh, you got a little bit of a hump in the middle. And as I've touched on in the past on uh, the economy tractors, it, it lacks in a seating area. Uh, you know, there's kind of a, some open areas around it and the seat could use an upgrade. Uh, but outside of that, nice simple tractor. Um, it does have a, a clutch on it uh, to help with your braking, uh, as well as whenever you start or engage your PTO. Uh, and speaking of the PTO, it has a, a manual PTO, so whenever you go to engage your uh, older implements, if you're worried about the PTO shafts uh, coming apart on you, uh, you are able to feather it on. Uh, whenever you get into the newer, newer style of uh, electric uh, PTOs, uh, it's kind of a snap-on, snap-off uh, where you can run into issues. Uh, so it kind of makes a nice basic tractor, kind of cuts down on the amount of sensors on it. Uh, it just gives you a little bit extra, or, so it cuts down on the sensors and everything, it makes a nice simple tractor, easy to use. And like I said before, with, uh, with the Land Pride third function, uh, you know, integrated right into the handle, uh, it gives you that on-off switch as well as the open and close. Uh, so nice, simple, easy to run package. Uh, now we're going to talk a little bit about the tires. So these tires are 44 18 20. Again, it gives you that six inches wider than the normal uh, turf tire for an L01 series. Um, they are huge. Uh, you need a set of spacers on the inside to get them away from the fender as there's not much room there uh, with these on. Um, and I can't stress this enough, the thing to know about it, it does void your warranty. So again, if you're going to get them, make sure you're out of warranty. But my God, does it make the tractor look big. Uh, you know, it, it's comparable in size now to your uh, Grand L's, uh, and just a slightly bit smaller than uh, in stance than your MX's. If you're into the, needing that extra flotation in the spring, uh, these are the tires for you, whether you're maybe potentially on a golf course or whatnot, these are the tires for you. You know, they help with that. You don't have to load them. You have lots of weight there without, uh, without loading them. If you do load them, you are gonna have lots of extra lift capacity with it. Yeah, these are just a super big tire. You're not gonna just walk into a Kubota dealership and see this, uh, see this anywhere. So it's kind of special to see, and uh, it's one of those life hacks. You're always watching the videos on that, on stuff like that. Well, this is a, a Kubota hack for you uh, to give you a little bit extra knowledge on what's available for an L2501 and, and the tire packages. And now we'll talk a little bit about the, the three-point hitch on it. Uh, and, some, uh, and the quick hitch that's on this uh, particular unit. Okay, so now talking a little bit about the three-point hitch on these units. Uh, they are a very basic three-point hitch. Uh, not great lift capacities on that end if you have some heavier implements. Um, you'll see it's very open on the back and around the seating area. Being an economy tractor, you're gonna run into that. Uh, you know, 
again, another small drawback on your three-point hitch, it has a turnbuckle adjustments. Uh, you want to keep those lubricated uh, so that you can make it level for your implements that you're using, whether it be a tiller or a rotary cutter. And that's where it brings us to our quick hitch here. Uh, this is a QH05. Uh, you can run it on an L01 series. Uh, it still matches up nicely to a lot of the units uh, from Lampride. Again, you may want a 10 series or a 15 series quick hitch, but uh, again, the cost goes up with them. Uh, so it is nice to know that the QH05 does uh, function properly with it. The one, the nice si thing about the 15 series uh, quick hitch is it does have the floating top link whenever you get into using a rotary cutter uh, for the for whenever you hit a stone or something for a little bit more flex to it. And as you can see from this vantage point, these tires are huge. There's my hand on it. You can see it's about two feet wide. Um, so. Yeah, so that gives you a really good advantage of uh, the three-point hitch that's available on the 2501 and these super-sized tires. Uh, the one nice thing that is on this uh, QH05 is, uh, is what they call an A-frame. Uh, it's available through, uh, through ourselves. You can see it on our Kubota online. Uh, it's readily available. It's fantastic for moving trailers. Uh, if you get up into the bigger ones, uh, they do make ones for Cat 1s, Cat 2s, and even up to Cat 3s uh, for moving various implements around. We've sold them for everything from BXs, up to uh, M6s for moving, you know, your little four by eight trailer up until your big, uh, big trail uh, hay wagons. They are a handy thing to have in the toolbox uh, whenever you're looking to move uh, either implements or wagons around. So that brings us to the end of the video today. As you can see from these tires, they are monstrous. Uh, you know, they, these tires, uh, I'm standing right beside, I'm six feet tall and it's about chest high on me. So uh, if you're ever looking to, uh, to upgrade your tractor to get some supersized tires on it for some flotation. Uh, this lets you see what's available. Uh, so again, if you enjoyed the video, please leave your comments down below uh, and like and subscribe. Thank you.